Hey guys, this is Africa Hits TV. We promote and project African arts, culture, and entertainment. Please subscribe to our channel, like, and share. Let's together project African values. Thank you. In this video, we take a look at one of Africans' most popular dance in Ghana, Adowa. Dance in Africa involves variation in movement according to time or rhythm. Africa dance is interesting, universal physical, activities that thrives on flexibility and coordination, muscular and cardiovascular endurance. Let's take a look at Adowa. interest you to know how the dance came about. In this video, I shall take you on a tour to explore how Adua was started, its meaning and importance to our cultural heritage. Adua is a popular traditional dance performed mostly by the Akan-speaking tribes in Ghana, such as the Ashantis, Bonos, Akins, Ikiapims and the Gurus. Adowa is believed to have originated from the imitation of the movements of a royal antelope. In the Akan language, particularly the Ashanti tree dialect, the royal antelope is called Adowa, while it is called Otri in Fanti. So the dance was named after this animal. It must be noted that during the performance of Adowa, every single movement of the performance has a message to tell. The message can be sorrowful, agonizing, romantic, exciting, and or sarcastic. It is a dance of meanings. According to royal history, it is said that there was once a queen mother called Abewa Tutuwa in the ancient Ashanti kingdom who became seriously ill during her reign 
and that all medications used on her failed to heal her until a deity was consulted for direction. According to the story, the deity directed that a live royal antelope be captured and brought alive for the performance of some rituals in order to heal the dying queen mother. Some warriors were therefore tasked to go to the forest to hunt for a live royal antelope. However, after days of search without finding any royal antelope, the warriors decided to return home. It is said that on their journey home, however, the warriors saw a royal antelope making some beautiful movements. The warriors, startled by the beautiful movements of the royal antelope, hid somewhere and also started imitating the movement of the antelope, thereby leading to the creation of the dance at the war. It is also said that when the warriors came home, they joyfully performed their newly learned movements to celebrate the health of their dying queen mother, while the elderly women also picked up the movement and perfected it into the modern day Adowa. Another oral account suggested that the investors of the dance mimicked how antelopes celebrated their dead ones. It is believed that when an antelope dies, the remaining ones go around it to mourn it and that explains why a dwarf performers usually go around when performing the dance. Although a dwarf was originally a funeral dance, it had now become a social dance receiving overwhelming patronage at all kinds of social gatherings. It is performed using mostly the whole torso, head, whole arm, foot and the hand. The expressive nature of the dance enabled the performers to easily communicate with their body movement. For instance, when a performer put the fourth figure in the mouth or the hands either at the back or on the stomach, it signified emotional pain, especially when the dance was being performed at the funeral. The costume to put on depends on the occasion. Among the musical instruments used for the performance of Adowa are master drum, a talking drum called a tumpan, twin bells, banana bells, bells, rattles, dundu, three supporting drums, petia and apentema. Although Adowa is a bisexual dance, women mostly perform it because of its expressive nature, while the men prefer to do the drumming. It must be mentioned that Adowa is performed with songs that are based on cultural beliefs and social issues. Lessons to learn from the dance Apart from Adowa being used to express varied cultural, social and emotional opinions, the dance also comes with some economic importance. It creates business opportunities for artisans such as wood cavers, blacksmiths and ghostsmiths who make the drums, bells and ornaments respectfully for the performance of the dance. It's important to mention that through these artisans, our fathers were able to preserve the dance up to our time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video and click on the bell icon to be updated anytime we upload videos like this. Comment, like and share.